Hey guys, me again. It's time to hit some more room readers. Come with me when I get Victor. Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name? Or if thou will not, be but sworn my love. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh. What's up, sir? <laughs> yeah, what's up, bro? Don't change. What? Don't change. What, 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 what do you mean? What are you talking about? Be your real self, you know. Normally when you come in and you and you find Victor, you normally find him with a book, but you don't think that you're gonna come in here and see him doing a bit of drama and then try and change into a gangster. Okay. You mind if it, if we have a chat or was the wrong time to do a bit of room readers? This is the opportune moment to get me. <laughs> Perfect, that's his voice too. You you probably don't even need a, a laptop too because I heard that out there there's a hell of a knowledge in there know everything. Well, it's actually a, a fact, CJ, that uh, the human brain contains much more memory than an actual laptop or any computer, but uh, yeah, you're right, probably uh, probably don't need that anymore, but it always helps. If everything fell apart and you got chucked out on the street, how would you how would you go there, street smart? Come again? Yeah, sure. It came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see he's, um, he's pretty tidy. He's, uh, he's well known for, for stealing a lot of the, the hotel tells as well. Um, Victor, he does it all over the place and, and makes the team pay for it. But uh, you can see he's got about 14 of them in just on his side. I think his room, he's got one. Um, see how the business area goes. Apart from some dirty undies on the ground. And uh, Victor's known for liking to eat when he goes to toilet as well. So he leaves just that, that can right just in case he runs out of a bit of energy. Um, he knows he can get that down him and, and push on through. Excuse the pun. Not, not many people know, I guess, that, uh, that I'm an only child. Grew up in uh, some rough streets in Strathmore, but then I got a boarding scholarship and that all changed. So, yeah, a little bit uh, finer around the edges, I guess you could say. But very smart around these edges. Yeah, relatively smart. Not too smart, you know, just, just your average. <coughs> Probably on par with me. So you, you're a bit of a drama man? Yeah. And I'm you know a little bit of drama? Yeah, just a little bit, yeah. Sure. Um, chances of maybe getting a little bit from you? Yeah, I would. Uh, I've actually just started catching up on my Shakespeare, so um, if you wouldn't mind... Um, I don't want to see Shakespeare. No, no, yeah, yeah. Well, that was... Some... I want to see some acting. Yeah, okay, okay. You pick a scene. If you need some help, I'll join in. All right. Anything. All right. Well, this... Uh, what I was reading was from Romeo and Juliet, but uh, another little bit of a love story for you. Well known, Titanic. I'm going to take a scene where uh, Rose Dawson runs off at the end. Leonardo DiCaprio chases her down. And they share a little moment. You can be Rose Dawson. <laughs> oh dear. We're at the bow of the boat on the rail. Hello, Jack. I've changed my mind. Close your eyes. Step up onto the rail. Don't be scared. I've got you. Open up your eyes. Don't be scared. I've got you. You feel that? I'm flying, Jack. Yeah, you are flying. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. There's no way I'm doing the cast. <laughs> well, Vic, um, it's time for us to get out of here and, and leave you, get back to your reading. Uh, one last thing, can I have a look at your hands? Because I'm telling you, it really did feel like I was on a boat there. Mm. The way you were gently swaying me, those mm. hands are unreal. But thanks for your time, appreciate it. Ka pai, get on with uh, what you need to. Um, it's time for me to get out of here and, and see me next week when we uh, go into somebody else's room and terrorise them. Stay tuned.